So in Ivy World, a useful energy source releases energy at a reasonable rate and produces minimal pollution. Two classic examples include, well, rain. There's not much energy you can get from rain, but if you collect it all behind a hydroelectric dam, all of that water now can produce energy. There's not much pollution involved, but the creation of the dam is problematic. For example, lots of carbon dioxide comes out of the concrete. The second example is, well, thermonuclear device. That releases all the energy really, really quickly. If you could release it more slowly, you could use it as an energy source. For example, on the Voyager probe, they have a radioisotope thermoelectric generator generating the electricity. Or you could think of nuclear power stations. Some stranger examples, well, wind power, what's the pollution there? Well, you know what? It's visual pollution. A lot of people don't like to see it. And the noise can be distracting too. What about biomass burning or fossil fuel burning? Well, there's smoke, there's nitrogen oxides, there's carbon dioxide problems there. And every big power plant is going to need cooling water. So why is water that's released slightly warmer into the environment bad? Well, warmer water has lower oxygen content and that's going to prevent fish from respiring as well as they need to. But some of the fish like the warm water, but it's associated lower oxygen content. And however you're generating energy, you're going to need to use transmission lines. And those transmission lines are a little warm because they're losing energy as heat. So that means you're going to have to generate more electricity than you think to account for the loss of energy going through those lines. OK, summing up, energy source and pollution. Fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas. There's air pollution and the fuel could leak or water could go through where the fuel is kept and be polluted. That's called leachate. Biomass burning, which is burning wood. There's smoke amongst other pollution. Wind, we talked about noise and visual. Solar cells, surely they're clean. They are, but the creation and destruction of them is a polluting process. Hydroelectric dams block the river and change the wildlife upstream. Nuclear, well, obviously radiation. And geothermal and wave energy, that's minimal pollution. And later on in the unit, we'll cover most of these in more detail.